My oldest daughter actually suffers from allergies herself. Every springtime, we can always count on it, it's coming her way. So a lot of times when we may be aware of the environment changing around us, certainly after rainfalls, there's gonna be more bloom of the vegetation and pollens are gonna be floating around and bothering us. People who are, know they have seasonal allergies, it's certainly important to start off kind of early with some you know, treatment. Uh, usually it's antihistamines that most people know about. There's plenty on the market available over the counter. Uh, there's some traditional ones like Benadryl that people know a lot about, but a lot of times that can be be uh, sedating for a lot of people. However, there's the newer products these days, both over the counter and by prescription. Uh, the common names we might already know about would be like uh, Claritin, uh, Zyrtec, Allegra. But there's also things you could do with non-medicine things to do, uh, and that'll be like irrigation. So the nasal spray, like it's a saline. There's commercially available products like the Navage is one thing. And then people have probably heard about the neti pot you know, some time ago also. Another important thing to remember is try to just kind of wash off and wash your face, um, you know, try to shower. I know it can be inconvenient. And even think about your bedding for another thing. So a lot of times we're coming in from the, the outside and we may have some pollen or other debris on us in a way. We launder your clothes and launder your bedding also. So that can be helpful. Pets are another thing also, whether it be their out, outdoor animals, they need to get sometimes wiped off or washed, so that can be helpful because we all love our pets. Another thing that people might be uh, unaware is that there can actually be some blood tests that can be done by your primary care physician for an allergy panel for our regional uh, areas that can help identify your particular allergies.